Aloha, I am your host, Winston Welch, and I am delighted that you're joining us today for this Out and About show where we explore a variety of topics, organizations, and events with the people who fuel them in our city, state, country, and world. As a disclaimer, any views or opinions expressed by me are strictly my own and not connected with any organization. Joining me today in the studio for the third time, which marks the beginning of our third year anniversary here at Out and About, is Francine Beppu and Joe Bach from the LGBT Legacy Foundation. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having us again. Thanks. Well, it is, my, it is my pleasure to have you here, and you are a wonderful third uh, anniversary for me. I'm so excited that you're here and here to talk about the LGBT Legacy Foundation and the upcoming Honolulu uh, Pride and, and Festival. Right? Yes. Okay, so suddenly, it's hard to believe that another year has passed, but another year has passed. What a year, also. Time flies. What a year, what a last it. couple of years, time flies. <laughs> yes. And whether you're having fun or not, but hopefully we've been having a lot of fun. You guys have been doing a lot of work, I know that, because you're working, you're both directors at the Legacy Foundation, is that Correct. right? Yes. Okay, and your volunteer directors, you are born a lot of, um, you know, time and energy and commitment and, and love into this organization, right? So tell us about the LGBT Legacy Foundation. Right, so the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit organization um, that is run by a volunteer board of directors um, from members across the community. And we have a variety of projects uh, that we um, manage and, and maintain for the LGBT community. Um, one is the Honolulu Pride Parade and Festival, which is this year on October 19th, uh, coming up in a couple weeks. Which is a Saturday? Saturday, yes. okay. October 19th. Yes, okay. starts, uh, kicks off at 11 o'clock uh, and then goes uh, down Kalakaua Avenue um, to the Shell, where the festival begins at 1130. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things you want to check because <laughs> right. it's easy to get the, yeah. you know, you're, you've got 10,000 details right. bouncing around in your head and sometimes the, there's so many things happening. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, With the events leading up to Pride, right. you know, we're in full swing. I'm not sure if anyone's been to Waikiki on Kalakaua, the rainbow flags Tell us about are those. lined up there. Um, so we call it Rainbows Over Waikiki. Um, every year um, through our community partners um, and our donors, um, we're able to put up uh, colorful rainbow flags um, during the month of October, which is also LGBT History Month and symbolizes Honolulu Pride in Hawaii. It's, uh, Rainbows Over Waikiki is another project of the Legacy Foundation. Um, we have over 150 flags throughout Waikiki this year. Um, again, thanks to our sponsors um, for helping to make that happen. Yeah, and sponsors, of course, critical to any, any nonprofit organization, Certainly. but especially this one. Yeah. Last year, you had a record number of, of uh, uh, would say floats or um, parade entries. Parade entries. Right. Yes. It was over a hundred, um, mm -hmm. from what I remember. Is it larger this year? About the same, or uh, what are you looking at? It's larger. The last time I checked in, it, we were at um, so last year we were at one hundred and five. Mm -hmm. We're almost to one hundred and fifty this year. One five zero. Yes. yes. Wow. So you've grown under the fifty percent in a year. We're, we are potentially the largest parade in the city, uh, if not more than we're the second, but definitely the most colorful. Definitely the most yeah. colorful and and the most inclusive. Let's yes. let's just yes. uh, put that out there because That's what it's all about. This is a celebration of, of pride. What is pride? Why why do we have pride pride parades and why has it grown fifty percent in the last year? What are you attributing this to? Well, a couple of questions there. Why? What is pride? Um, so this is a again. This has been a spectacular year um, for. The LGBTQ community. Um, this is the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising, which happened in New York City in June of 1969. Um, so we're actually um, commemorating that event um, through our efforts this year, um, and have some special guests from a Stonewall Inn that will be joining in the parade and the festival. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So yeah, we're really excited and honored to have them join us. Because year. 50 years, 50th state. And an extra 50 entries in the parade, so <laughs> oh, you, you kept it all off. But well, that's a really that's a coup for you guys to get them out here, and and for them, are they, they're not going to be the grand marshals; they're just honored guests. Is that right? Our grand marshal this year is Kim Koko Iwamoto, uh, but they are special guests, and again, they'll be riding in the parade. Um, they have a classic car. Uh, actually, one of the bartenders from Stonewall Inn, his name is Tree, um, will be joining us. So, so he was there 50 years ago, uh, the night that the uh, the uprising or the riots. Uh, 
And you think about that, 50 years seems like a long time ago, and yes. yet we're in a place still where in half the states, if you are LGBTQ, you may be fired from your job. Is that still correct? I am, it sounds correct. Um, I don't know the exact number of states, um, but I would say going back to your second, the second part of your question, yes. I mean, that really is why um, prides are so important. You know, they raise awareness. Um, one of the, the part of the mission of the Legacy Foundation is to educate and empower LGBTQ um, are the community here. Um, so we want to include everybody in that. Our allies here uh, in the state have just gone above and beyond every year. That's why I think Pride has grown so much, um, because we are becoming more of a community, both internally and then also a, part, a more vocal and important part of the larger, larger community. Do you think this has anything to do with uh, our national scene of what's going on? Because things relatively in Hawaii are you know, we're, we're sort of living in a, in a bubble here that's, that, that's nice. Um, or, or is it just people's consciousness or, or that they're just able to be more expressive or they just want to join in to be more supportive or all of the above? I think, you know, I think um, it's, it's all of the above. I think we're a lot more connected and um, through social media, our media partners, I think more people are becoming aware and educated about what's going on in other cities. Um, you know, this year we were able to go to New York City and actually join in the Pride and World Pride oh. festivities. And um, it was amazing. Yeah. You know, there were almost That's 4 right. million people there. Oh. The parade there, I think it was over 12 hours. <laughs> it was intense. Oh. Yeah. But it was amazing to see Manhattan, all the skyscrapers lit up in mm -hmm. rainbow lights. Um, it was just the whole city really kind of came alive and came to support um, the LGBTQ community. That's awesome. That would have been such an exciting and, and fun thing to see. But we're having our own exciting yes. and fun version here. Now, for people that are, are watching, where do they go to get information about this before we go to a break so that they, they can follow along as we're as in our sure. second half? Um, for a full list of events and tickets, um, you can go to HonoluluPride.com. Just that's it, HonoluluPride.com. Honolulu mm -hmm. that's, that's an easy one. Okay. There are dozens of events happening um, throughout the month. Um, that are held by schools, um, community partners, other nonprofit organizations. It's our goal really to support all of them, at which again ties back to the, the mission of the Legacy Foundation really is to support all of the LGBTQ organizations in the state. So it's a, it's a, it's a, a clearinghouse and a supportive network that you've Correct. got there. And uh, this is also your largest fundraiser of the year, is it not? Correct. Which yes. funds go to support the other organizations. And then also another of our projects is the LGBT Center Waikiki which is open uh, to use by any LGBTQ organizations free of charge. Uh, just to, to touch on that, you mentioned L it's LGBT, uh, Hawaii LGBT Legacy Center, but you use LGBTQ. Right. Uh, what's, the, what's the Q added on there for now? So we've added the Q in all of our kind of language. Um, we haven't updated the names of the organizations from a legal perspective yet. Um, but we've added the Q to represent the queer and questioning um, part of our community, uh, which has not always been uh, or felt included in the previous acronym. Um, so that has been kind of our stance is to include the Q uh, for an all-inclusive community. Mm -hmm. and, and I think different organizations do, do that differently. Some might... Uh... Uh, when you go back in time, it was a simpler era, like you know the HGLCF, the uh, Honolulu uh, Gay and Lesbian Cultural Foundation. But its mission is obviously much broader. But they decided to stick with the acronym just for marketing right. and branding purposes. Um, but their their main offering is the uh, Honolulu Rainbow Film Festival. Right. So the rainbow sort of becomes a little bit more encompassing. Same of course, with, and, uh, right. yeah. and same theme, with the business, right. uh, the the Hawaii Rainbow Chamber of Commerce. And our theme for the past couple of years for Honolulu Pride has been celebrate the rainbow, really just to underscore that fact that we are here to support the entire greater LGBTQ community. And we have, a, of course, a, a very um, historic and, and, and native population that doesn't, that, that doesn't fit into um, specific categories as well. So I think it, it's, it, it includes that also. And I think we need to be aware of that as well. In Canada, I noticed they had an LGBTQIA uh, LGBTQIA2S, uh, which was for twin oh. spirit, um, that they oh, and so they, they do it a little bit differently in Canada. Nation. Sometimes uh -huh. there's an I and sometimes there's an A, but uh, you know, folks, or plus, or plus, or down with the plus too. Down with right. the plus, yeah. And yeah. I think I, I read something that the, the preferred one has moved 
added the Q and then now adding the plus. So but right. we're, we're changing and we're evolving as we realize we do need to be as, as inclusive as possible. Certainly. And, you know, again, we are a volunt completely volunteer organization. Um, so anybody who is a part of the community or a different aspect of the community that would like to be represented, we would love to, or them to participate. And again, they can go to HonoluluPride.com to check out our website for volunteer opportunities or just to send us a note and let us know what they think. And that could be for any of the projects that you have at the center. Anytime. Correct. Okay. Anything. And mm -hmm. if people are watching this and saying, boy, you know, our company should have a float in, in, the, in the parade. Is it too late? Or can they still join? Uh, I, I believe <laughs> um, the parade, I think that we're still taking entries. Um, I would act very, very soon, though. And, <laughs> and sweetly. We, yes. Right. Please we will have out. to close it off soon. I think the soon official... The official um, registration deadline was at the end of September, but we've been trying to squeeze out as many as possible because we have a lot of people who are interested and have not had a chance to register yet. And back to that, that, that increase is huge. Um, I think you were the largest parade last year um, in the state, weren't you? Or? Not quite. Okay. Um, no. And actually, we're not sure yet, but it, it, it's shaping up to be that way. I would like to point out also that it is free to enter into the Honolulu Pride Parade. Um, so all you, all you need to do is register. As long as registration is open, there's no charge. Of course, you have to provide your own vehicle or colored t-shirts or costumes or whatever you want to do, but um, it is open to the public. And it's really a celebration. It's a celebration it of being fully who you are, fully who we are as, as humans and, and celebrating that diversity. And then the festival itself, is there a charge to get in there or uh, is, is that also free? It is free. We do ask for a suggested donation just because it costs a lot of money to, we, we rent the entire shell, um, the Waikiki shell. And this year actually we're activating the entire space. Typically it's just kind of been around the backside. Um, but now there's a whole um, Ohana area supported by our sponsors um, that is going to be open for families, family-friendly activities, more food vendors. Bouncy, bouncy tent? I don't know that we <laughs> have a bouncy Not quite the bouncy house. tent, so yeah. we were trying to go around that. But um, there are magicians, there's a stage area set up in the mm -hmm. Ohana, in the yeah. Ohana family and kid-friendly area. It's going to be on the lawn area of the Mikey mm -hmm. Show. Yep. Two so stages. Something um, for everybody. Yeah. Two stages. Two stages okay. this year. Correct. Not the main shell stage, but a, a smaller one that's Correct. a Two temporary one. Yeah. But it's going to go all, it's, it's, so it's, uh, you obviously got to expand to, to meet the need. But it's a right. totally family-friendly event and also Certainly. beer for sale for those people that like to have yep. beer. Yes. There is a, there's an area that you can have by, um, drinks and dance and have fun. Um, and then there's also more of an Ohana area. Uh, so I think there's really something for everyone. Okay, and so the parade, again, starts at Ala Moana Magic Island about 11. Yes. Correct. On Saturday the 18th. Mm -hmm. The 19th. I'm sorry, Saturday. the 19th. Yeah. That was an intentional mistake. Uh, <laughs> Saturday the 19th of 2019. <laughs> they can find information. People can go to your website, which is honoluluprideoncom Honolulupride .com. Very easy. And then the parade will continue down Kalakaua, finish up at the Shell, and it, but the, the, uh, the festival itself will open up at 11.30. Correct. Doors open at 11.30. Yes. And it continues all day. Until mm -hmm. 6 p.m. Until 6 p.m. Okay. So... You are hearing it here live on Out and About. I'm Winston Welch. I'm your host here at the Think Tech Live Streaming Network Series. We'll be back in a minute, so stay tuned for more of the story. Aloha. I'm Keisha King, host of At the Crossroads, where we have conversations that are real and relevant. We have spoken with community leaders from right here locally in Hawaii and all around the world. Won't you join us on thinktechhawaii.com or on YouTube on the Think Tech Hawaii channel? Our conversations are real, relevant, and lots of fun. I'll see you at the crossroads. Aloha. Hey, aloha, everyone, and welcome to the Think Tech Hawaii studio. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii. We air here every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Hawaii time, trying to bring you issues about security that you may not know. Issues that can protect your family, protect yourself, protect our community, protect our, our companies, the folks we work with. Uh, please join us and I uh, hope you can um, maybe get a little different perspective on how to live a little safer. Aloha. Aloha. We are back and we're live. I'm Winston Welch and this is Out and About on the Think Tech Live Streaming Network series. We are again talking with Francine Beppu and Joe Bach, who are directors at the LGBT Legacy Foundation here in Hawaii. 
We're coming up on, uh, well, this is our third show with these good folks, and so thrilled to have you. So thank you again for being on the show. And, Thanks for having us. You know, and we've got this, this, this whole month, this Pride Month, where uh, the highlight of it is going to be the 19th, Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. 2019. Yes. Kicking off at Magic Island with a parade. You got 150 entries. Super huge number. Biggest festival in the state, biggest parade in the state, ending at the at the shell starting at eleven thirty in the morning and going till six. Uh, right. You got a whole bunch of events going on there, a lot of booths of all kinds. Um, what else do you have going on this month to celebrate? I guess it's our Hawaii Pride Month, isn't it? Or uh, it Yes. Yeah, it's also um, National LGBT History Month, okay. um, so that's another reason why um, Honolulu Pride was moved to October a few years ago. This is the fifth um, Honolulu Pride managed by the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. Um, so, and we did, we kind of uh, took the two groups that were originally doing the two different prides, brought them together, and to create a more comprehensive and cohesive community-driven event. Mm -hmm. um, and so, to that end, we really support all the different organizations in town to create events um, for education, um, cultural, uh, arts, community, mm -hmm. um, really all kinds of stuff. It's a lot of fun. So the calendar on our website, HonoluluPride.com, has a list of events for all types. Have we already started with events this month? Yes. Okay. So um, this past first Friday, October 4th, um, we collaborated with uh, the Hawaii State Art Museum, mm -hmm. um, and they put on a fantastic uh, drag fashion show. Um, the first act that came out actually performed an Ali X song, and she's one of our headliners this year. Okay, and this is on the music stage? Yes. Well, this, our headliner at the festival will be Ali X. She's okay. amazing. She okay. was a songwriter for Troy Simone, Katy Perry. She's great. A L L I E space X. A L L I E space X. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you also have something I noticed that, that coming up this this month. There's uh, at the University of Hawaii. There's a, um, I, I guess it's a fair, an LGBTQ fair uh, that's going on. Uh, mm -hmm. Will you all have a presence there just to let people know about your organization? Yes. yes. Um, every year we um, support National Coming Out Day, and it's a youth day celebration at UH Manoa. This year. Um, Really special. We are screening um, a movie by YouTube um, influencer and activist Raymond Braun um, called The State of Pride. Um, it's a documentary featuring, um, you know, the Stonewall Uprising. And then we'll have a panel discussion after with the Stonewall guests that we just mentioned, along with Raymond Braun with a Q&A. Is that part of the Hawaii International Film Festival or is that something separate? Um, it's, separate. it's separate. Okay, but mm -hmm. you do help. You host, or maybe it's the, the film festival uh, host co-hosts things with the international uh, film I th festival. Yeah, I think that's the right. And if if groups wanted to use your space, is that a possibility? Of uh, course. Okay, mm -hmm. it's just uh, certainly go on there and see who's not using it at certain times and, and connect. Sure, we have a community calendar. Um, you can check out when uh, the space is available, and then just contact us and request. To now, will, the, will this also be broadcast like it was last year? Yes, well, actually, last year, um, through our partnership with KHON, it was um, live streamed, the parade. But this year, going one step further, you know, building on that success of last year, um, we are going to be live broadcasting the parade as well. So live stream, if um, you're unable to join us from anywhere in the world, khon2.com, and then also live broadcast on KHI, which is Channel 5. What's the, excuse my ignorance, what's the difference between broadcast live and, and uh, live stream would be online. You could use any uh, your web browser or I your see. phone to watch. Um, the live broadcast is actually going to be on broadcast television. I see. And you Channel were live. a co host of that last year with Justin Cruz, Justin right? Justin Cruz, yes. Yeah. Is that going to happen again this year? Yes. Okay, so you'll be out <laughs> yeah. there probably, I don't know, 11 ish or something like that, maybe a little bit later, because you, you're, you're sort of at the, uh, at the Duke statue, aren't you? Or oh, I think the, so actually the live um, stream and the live broadcast uh, will begin at 11 mm -hmm. uh, noon. Okay, now mm -hmm. I, I just had a question though is about the increase in numbers. Are you, are, is this mostly like millennials and zennials, or is it business groups, or is it all, all, all kinds of different groups? Because it's just it's, interesting that it's grown so, so much. It's all kinds of groups. It's um, nonprofit groups, it's corporations, um, both that 
want to support as allies that have uh, employee groups that request uh, to be a part for their company to be a part so that, you know they're proud for their company to support um, it's churches like it's it's all kinds of schools you know anybody you can think of probably. okay yeah. and uh, are you doing anything in concert with the other islands at uh, in this month or do they all have their own different events at different in different months they have um, well some actually happen so Maui Pride is actually coming up this weekend um, and Kona Pride had theirs last month. Um, Hilo Pride, I can't remember exactly when theirs is. Um, that was in June. It was in June. June or right. beginning of July. Yeah, right, so June. not during National um, Pride Month. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wasn't so, it the first year that Kauai well, that's right. hosted a Pride yeah, this they year? They had taken a little hiatus on Kauai, mm -hmm. but I think they're back. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So every island, more or less, uh, has something going on, or at least yeah. county has something going on. And we support them however we can. Um, Know, either through help with their fundraising efforts or to run the marketing support. So really, um, if they ask us, we're happy. What do you want people to know that uh, maybe we haven't touched upon about LGBT Legacy Foundation, Pride, or the state of, of things in our, in our city, state, nation, world today? We actually have a lot of events that happen throughout the year. Um, I don't know if you want to talk about some of the things, but we do a lot of things um, yeah, um, for Pride. I would say even after the parade and festival, um, we do an annual pool party, on, which will be on Sunday, October 20th at the Alohilani Hotel. Um, we have a lot of musicians, DJs, performances, um, and that will be co-hosted by Lay and Stonewall, um, a fundraiser for Honolulu Pride. And then the weekend following that <laughs> is um, uh, we have Work for Mother Earth, which is hosted by the House of Malico on Saturday at the Hyatt Centric Hotel. And then on Sunday, um, the Food and Wine Festival, the first drag appetite brunch at the Blue Note. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that I mean, we it's have first, a long list yeah. of events. So. First time uh, Hawaii Food and Wine Festival is participating in our Pride Month. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're excited about that. So you're seeing a lot of uh, sort of coming together of the wider community in support of of diversity and inclusiveness is that Absolutely. reasonable to Our say? Allies mm -hmm. and friends, mm -hmm. whether it's members. broadcast media or uh, something like the Food and Wine Festival right. or, or um, banks and your other uh, large corporate sponsors mm -hmm. that maybe had been, uh, you know, uh, just now coming on board with some of these things. Yeah, some things take time, um, but we're really happy to see the groundswell of support from across the community. So if you're, if you're um, Maybe a, a young person or even an older person who has been, uh, you know, you're afraid to you're afraid to to come out for whatever reasons, uh, background. What what advice would you have for folks that are that are looking to find activities to get into, or maybe to come down, or is it just just come down and sit on the on the, the, the and cheer people on, or, or to, can they join in the parade, or? Um, well, people are welcome to join in uh, the parade if they have someone they know that's an entry, whether it's a company or a group of friends or whatnot. Um, there are ways to participate and walk in the parade. But I definitely would encourage people to come down to Waikiki Shell on the 19th to see all of the festival vendors that are there. A lot of them are companies or nonprofit organizations that will have booths there and can talk about what their initiatives are, what their activities are. Everything from sports leagues to, again, churches, schools, dance groups. Um, we have just a lot of diversity represented at the festival this year. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a great point. You hit on, the, like you said, churches, sports groups, educational institutions, mm -hmm. companies. Mm -hmm. So you can find your tribe, whatever your, your tribe inside of the tribe, right. Um, right. as it were. And, uh, and if you're not LGBTQIA2S+, plus or, or <laughs> just LGBTQ+, plus, Absolutely come out and support the, the, right. the parade and, and, and folks down there, right? Definitely. And Certainly. we have musicians performing, uh, food, everybody eats food. You know, Ali X, she's our headliner. We have Tim Rose, Isaac, a lot of local acts. Um, it's going to be a really entertaining, fun-filled day. So. Entertaining, fun-filled day, <laughs> educational, fun-filled month. Mm -hmm. Really yes. important that we, that we celebrate Pride because we uh, have uh, been traditionally ha have a marginalized LGBT uh, population, and so we're just bringing that and saying, no, we're, you're bringing your whole self to life, and this is the one day of the year when we can say, and we're we're celebrating us for uh, for who we are as human beings and bringing our fullness to um, 
a festival and a parade. Is that fair to say? That sounds great. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. and so for folks that are looking for more information, they can go to HonoluluPride.com. Is that correct? Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, the main event is going to be on Saturday, October, October 19th, 19th. <laughs> starting off at Magic Island at 11 a.m., and those mental lapses are intended. Uh, so there you have the graphic from it. Uh, we've still got the, the Flying Musubi, and people can also go on your website and buy T-shirts, merchandise. VIP passes. VIP passes. Yeah, fast passes. Fast passes to let you go into the, into the faster festival. security line. And, Correct. Okay. And you can okay. also get into the after party at Hula's after the festival's over. And maybe the swimming party. And a special um, area, a drink area. Right, a drink and oasis. a special drink oasis. Um, the pool party is actually free of charge. It's just a suggested donation, all 100% of which goes back to um, the Legacy Fund. Okay, so VIP Pass is just a great way to support the, uh, the organization. And to cut the lines. And to right. cut yeah. the lines, okay. <laughs> well, uh, it sounds like it's going to be a terrific event. You've got the celebrating the 50th state and 50th anniversary of Stonewall here uh, in Hawaii. We've got some really special guests. If they're anything like my very special guest today, Joe Bach and Francine Beppu from the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation, then this is going to be a smashing success. You guys are terrific. You inspire me with the work that you do, giving back to the community, um, you know, upholding the, the, the a vision for folks um, just to, to be free to be themselves and celebrate celebrate the rainbow and celebrate uh, our full humanity. So thank you for what you both do um, for this organization and for our community. Well, thank you. Thank I know you that so you, you do what you can to give everybody a voice, and I think that's much appreciated and, and very uh, important in our society. Well, I think we, we all got to stand up in the, in the way that, that, would, that we can. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm happy to, uh, if, you, if you guys want to come on my show and you, you have a, a, an issue, that's great. I, this one is right at the, the top of my heart. And I hope that you will come out and support uh, the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation and the Honolulu Parade and, uh, Festival on the 19th of October. Uh, come down and cheer everybody on. Come to the festival. Spend some money. Donate some money if you can't come. But... Uh, Unfortunately, we are out of time today. I'm definitely going to see you back here next year, Hope hopefully, so. <laughs> and, uh, same month as we celebrate um, uh, LGBT History Month. Uh, that's it. We are out of time. I am sad to go, but that is what we have to do. I'm Winston Welch. This is Out and About on the Think Tech Live Streaming Network series. And we have been talking with Francine Beppu and Joe Bach of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. Thanks for tuning in. We welcome your feedback, and thanks to our broadcast engineer, and uh, to today also our floor manager, who is combined as Eric Kalander, back from the mainland, and to Jay Fidel, our executive producer, who puts it all together. I look forward to seeing you here every other Monday at 3 p.m. We hope you're inspired by the show. Welcome for comments um, here on Out and About, and for Think Tech in general. Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm.